couple of questions I have in mind. One, one was, obviously, Ian McQuinney was there, chair of the department. Can you talk a little bit about Ian and your relationship with him and what influence that may have had on your career? He had a powerful influence on my career. <clears throat> he was the best mentor I could ever imagine having. I had heard about him um, when I was rummaging through a bookstore and stumbled on his first book, oh. The Early Signs of Illness, right. which was beautifully written clinical uh, scenarios. Yeah. And then it wasn't too long after that that I heard he was coming to Western. I thought, wow, this is exciting. A family doc who's written a book, who's <laughs> going to be a professor of family medicine. Great. And I remember, um, well, I had met him. Yeah, I met him the first time I came to Western. And invited him to come to Stratford to talk to the staff there. Uh, every time he spoke, I was fascinated by his ideas. Yeah. He didn't speak very well. No. But it didn't matter because <laughs> his ideas were so fabulous. Right. He, every every time I listened to him, I said, "Ah, that's what I've been trying to figure out." <laughs> Great. So. There was that aspect of somebody I could really look up to who was a real academic who made you think. Right. And then he steered my career. I think one of the first things he did was get me uh, involved as the director of undergrad education for the department. And then, I can't remember the sequence. He, he had me involved as director of faculty development for the department. Right. And when the grad program started, he asked me to develop the teaching and learning course. And I remember you saying something about why you thought you got chosen to do the faculty development thing, but... Because I, <laughs> <laughs> I was new and wasn't all tied up with a whole bunch of other committees. So, lucky we need somebody who's not too busy, sort of, or it doesn't seem to be busy. <laughs> And, and I think he knew I was interested in medical okay. education. Right, right. But well, the other thing I forgot, yeah. he, uh, around the time he asked me to develop the teaching and learning course, he had some funding that would allow me to have a six month study leave. Okay. So we used that money to hire a locum to cover my practice. And I took a whole bunch of <clears throat> master's level courses. And oh, okay. To get ready. <laughs> yeah. 